so what, what does this have to do with Rescale and HPC and big compute? Um, I, I think, you know, as you saw, we're relying on some, some really important and, and um, major aerodynamic advances to make the XB1 and our production airliner uh, more efficient than Concorde. So here's some pictures of some of our computational fluid dynamics work, um, or, or CFD. You know, so, so these are um, uh, Navier-Stokes unstructured uh, simulations of one of the corners of our flight envelope where um, XB1 is, is, uh, is experiencing what we call vortex lift. And, and s simulating the, these sort of tight vortices over the wings is, is um, pretty computationally expensive. And uh, it requires simulation meshes with 200 million cells or, or more in some of the simulations. And um, they can run from minutes to hours, depending on the complexity. And we often want to run sort of whole parameterized design sweeps where we, where we manipulate the design space and, and explore uh, different you know, geometry changes. So when, when people ask me about Rescale, and I often tell them sort of, uh, I like to think of it as, as, you know, we let our engineers ask what kind of supercomputer do they want today. Um, and in fact, they can sort of ask that on every job they submit to Rescale. So depending on the complexity of the job or how fast they want the result, how much money they want to pay, they can dial in exactly how much compute resources they have and, and uh, get a result quite, quite efficiently. This is an example of some aero database plots that we've created where every one of these dots is a, is a simulation that may have taken you know, an hour or so on 100 cores or something like that. And uh, so we'll run a sweep like this and and sort of on demand be able to grab all the compute capacity to get this error database built. And uh, we don't have to think anything about IT or how to, uh, how to manage all that data. You know, traditionally you would have to have a team of people sort of, you know, uh, collecting all the data, collating it, validating it, checking it, putting it in the right places, et cetera. And, uh, or, or you'd have to write, have a software team write all that scripting to automate this process. And we were able to skip all that because of Rescale. And that's it. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity to, to talk to you guys. Um, you know, we're huge fans of Rescale, uh, and we wouldn't be where we are today without them. So thanks a lot.